he's uh, going to get some dog that's getting butt raped. And uh, it's right back there. But anyways, I'm going to tell uh, you guys a story of the gods. Alright. So, I was walking down this alleyway. Here's like McDonald's right here. McDonald's is my, is my left hand. McDonald's is right here. I was walking. Here's this alleyway. I walk through the alleyway, and when I get through, there's this crackhead that just starts jerking off all over his double quarter pounder with cheese, no onions. And I was like, come on, it's the best meal. And then, Like a cricket. There, stay there. You're gonna be my dinner. Anyways, we just found this dog in the dumpster getting butt raped by a skinwalker. So, getting having a gangbang with a bunch of cockroaches. <laughs> and that, that's just the moral of the story. Uh, don't do drugs, or you'll end up like the guani hey, at hey, Walmart. Hey. What's the matter with you? She just had a gangbang. How would you feel after you had a gangbang? She was huh? in a cage. Jesus. I know why, because we don't want her inside right now, because she's shitting all over the house. Because <laughs> no one knows how to potty train her. You're okay. Calm down. Alright, continue the story. Alright, anyways, uh, okay. I found this guy who was over at Home Depot, and he was buying a set of shears why the hell would you need to buy shears but I don't know he was working at Subway so can't, can't imagine why you would buy some shears but uh <coughs> fuck <coughs> okay, sugar. It's okay. Ah. did you hear that I just hot railed off screen that's hard to do it is I'll tell you what. Yeah, you lick the boogers. <laughs> Dude, she eats her own shit. Does she really? Yes. Oh, what the fuck? Cause the other, well, no, the other day she thought it was food, cause she got into corn. So when she shit, the corn came out. <laughs> it, was, it was like little pieces of corn in her shit, and she was eating it cause the corn was in it. Now that's a damn good story. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'll tell you about my friend. Not this kid, but another friend I know. <laughs> not this kid. <laughs> Stupid. But um, here, you can take her. Give me this little rascal. But I had a friend. He had a, his dad, and his, this one he was pretty young. He was um. They were out shooting the guns over at the shooting range behind the Milan dump, and uh, he was about. Nine, ten, his brother was about six. No, yeah, about six. And um, <clears throat> his dad used to like to mess around and used to watch a lot of old westerns. He had a revolver and he used to try to gunsling and shit. Well, that day, he was doing good through about the day they were there for maybe 30 minutes. And uh, right there towards the end, his dad goes to pull the revolver out and shoots himself in the ass. He, he pulls the gun out, but he had it pointed a certain way because when he took it out, he went like that. So it was point the barrel was pointing right through his ass, and it just <laughs> and it came out like right here. He, his dad showed us the fucking bullet wound and everything. He had he had pictures at the hospital, and he's showing us where it was at. And he's they they're freaking out. They're like, "Oh shit! Fucking dad shot us! So we, what do we do? We gotta call the ambulance." And, um, they didn't call the fucking ambulance. The dad just told him, it's all right, calm down. All you got to do is get in the truck and drive me to the hospital. And his dad's laughing his ass off the entire time. His two youngest, his, the two kids are fucking dragging their heavy ass 220 pound dad <laughs> into the back of the truck. And they put him in the back and his dad's laughing, holding his ass with both hands like this, <laughs> and he, he just, 
everybody's freaking out like oh what do we do dad i don't know what to do and they're freaking out and they're crying and the dad says just start the truck all you gotta do here here's the keys start the truck and let's go they start the truck they're freaking out and they said dad you can't drive and he says i know you gotta drive and he says i can't drive and he says yes you can it's automatic you're okay and he's like just push the brakes a little bit and put it in drive so he does that and he's going like five miles per hour <laughs> through the entire thing he went five miles per hour all the way to the beginning of milan right as you get to the turn off towards the loves in petro and there was a fucking cop the fucking police officer goes behind him and pulls him over and the cop comes by and the kids are freaking out they're yelling at the officer my dad shot himself my dad shot himself he's bleeding in the back he shot himself in the butt and the dad's laughing his fucking ass off and <laughs> the officer comes in he does this he walks over he looks in I'll give you an escort and he runs back to his truck leaves the kids in there doesn't mind driving the truck he just runs goes to his police officer car he said all I need you to do is drive the truck and follow me I'll give you a police escort to the hospital he's 10 years old he doesn't know how to fucking drive at all so as the cop hurry up and fucking speeds in front of him for a minute he starts kind of catching up they go like about 15 miles per hour the cop fucking takes off as the truck's going 15 miles per hour <laughs> and he just kept going slow as shit all the way to the hospital the cop kept telling go faster go faster you can do it it took him a whole fucking hour to get to the goddamn hospital in Grants. And they get there and they're helping their dad out. And their dad, his dad falls on his ass and starts yelling and laughing at the same time. And he's like, dude, it's the scariest fucking thing. He was laughing. We didn't know what to do. We we're freaking out. He's bleeding all over the fucking place. He's like, the revolver's still in the fucking holster. He's like, my dad started trying to get the gun out of the holster and put it in the truck. <laughs> And they get him into the hospital, and he starts freaking out, telling them, My dad shot himself! We need a doctor! I think he's dying! I think he's gonna die! We need a doctor now! And the dad's laughing. Like, I don't know how the fuck this... I don't know. And he's in the hospital, and they fix him up and everything. And they stitch him up. Well, they gave him, like, two stitches on each bullet wound, basically. And, um... They put two beds, and he said, my dad got out of the hospital about a week, week or two later, and we're at the house, and he goes to sit down, but he says he can't fart, because if he farts, it hurts his ass, and he said the funniest part was, is when his dad would sit down, he'd go real slow, and slowly <laughs> put the pillow under his ass, and then he, <laughs> he knew he farted, because he'd be in his room playing with his brother, and all he hears. Oh, God damn it! <laughs> they rush him, what happened, Dad? What happened? I fucking farted. <laughs> they had to deal with 